What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm of course CM Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching Thanks for making this video a part of your day now before we get started You can see up in the top right corner. It's macho T macho allowed me to use this footage as I was not able to go to the uh, To the early play so he's gonna he allowed me to use this and I uh, took some notes on some things found a couple of things I thought were interesting and um, asked him if I could break it down in this in this video and he he uh, politely allowed me to do so. So a couple of new things. The menu. This menu looks freaking amazing. I love how mini minimalistic it is. Not a lot going on in this uh, menu. Just the, the names of what's going on, the person, the white background. It is freaking amazing. Um, we did see something for the showcase and the 2K Towers. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Now we're gonna go back here a little bit in the video. There, um, all the one-on-one -on -one matches and five-man matches and all that seem to be the same. One thing we did get though was triple threat tornado tags. That is six people, three tag teams in the ring at the same time. We've been wanting that for a long time. Triple threat uh, tag ladder match, Hell in a Cell, table, TLC. And we also get those things with an eight-man uh, in the ring, tornado tag. Uh, four way four teams going on at the same time that is absolutely amazing we've been wanting that for quite some time now the next thing is the Royal Rumble 10 20 and 30 man and women so we're gonna get a we're gonna be able to do the Royal Rumble with women this year that is gonna be fantastic for uh, quote-unquote call companies that run shows like I did SWF they have those things now available to them here in the game and they won't have to do a lot of editing and things like that moving um, into my player as we kind of skip ahead through Macho's video here um, the first thing right off the bat when you start off my player of course you get all these new loading scenes but you get to pick your fighting style and they're a little more in-depth and uh, they show you give you an example of who's what so you have your technicians you have your powerhouses such as Roman Reigns, you have your Giants, your Cruiserweights, your Strikers. So a lot of um, interesting things there in my player. Macho didn't quite go in too deep into my player. And there's a lot of uh, the first hour of my player videos. I personally haven't watched them yet. I want to experience that on my own. So I haven't watched any of that stuff. Macho does get into universe mode where, again, those call companies and uh, possibly SWF will come in and can do what we want to do in here. Uh, the calendar, I noticed we have Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and 205 Live. And he comes, kind of goes through the match card here. Down there in the bottom left, we see an actions option. And inside that actions option, you have announce a cash in and uh, edit match and simulate all matches. Now the announce a cash in as you're about to see here as Macho does it and I will uh, stop or I'll take a screenshot of it here and we'll pause it. So if you choose uh, announce the cash in right now Braun Strowman holds that championship. He's going to give notice to Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, uh, that he is going to cash in that money in the bank at the end of tonight's show. Do you want to do this? So it gives you that option to do so and it does change the match as well. Now I'll talk about money in the bank here in a little bit but Announcing the cash in um, is something new. You don't just have the ability or you just don't have the option to just yes or no. So that's a new thing. And as you can see here, uh, as he scrolls through, Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns, it is for the title money and the bank cash in. I'm quite interested to see that. You do see uh, the marker saying customized match and money in the bank cash in there um, in that right side over there by Roman Reigns. So that is quite interesting as well. Here we see some of the settings, and then down there at the bottom, you have AI announced cash in mid match and post match. That is interesting. I do like you can adjust the sliders there. You see all of the new titles that are involved. You have the NXT United or uh, North American Championship in there, and all those other brand new titles. He flips uh, through here a little bit and uh, checks out the rivalries, which look to work the same. You choose one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two, -two, how long you want it to be, the intensity, and then you choose your rivals. So all of that seems about the same. Uh, small things in universe mode, it looks like. 
Um, he didn't delve way deep into universe mode, so there might be a lot of other things, a lot of new things that are happening that we may not see right now. So now we see him editing some of the things. Money in the bank management is amazing to me. So right here, you can see Braun Strowman holds money in the bank. Currently, nobody holds that women's money in the bank. But over here on the right side, whether or not the AI is gonna cash in on the championship, who holds that money in the bank championship? It can be anybody. Not only that, the target championship can be changed. So if you do not necessarily wanna go for the universal championship, you can set Tyler Bate to be money in the bank and go after Pete Dunne and the UK championship. So that I thought was really interesting. You can change it up. It doesn't necessarily have to be the main title. It can be one of the mid-card titles or possibly even on NXT. That is gonna be great for all the call companies, again, quote unquote, who run their own shows. They can really take advantage of all of these things in universe mode and use them in their universe modes to fit without having to do a lot of crazy stuff. So I thought that was quite interesting to see that it can be anybody and it can be any title. And we go, and, and again, we get women, the women's money in the bank. Now right here we see automatic WWE live update. I'm not totally sure what that is and how that's gonna play into um, into my career or um, excuse me into universe mode or anything like that so we'll see locker codes are now part of the game something brought over from the nba series locker codes are you put in a code you're able to unlock something rare or something you know things like that inside um inside the game there inside the menu so uh that is everything that i noticed as he kind of runs through the targets and the jukebox and all of that other stuff which of course i've turned off um, but that is a handful of things that I have noticed within the menus and within everything that Macho um, was going through. I thank him again for allowing me to uh, use this footage. He graciously let me do it. I do appreciate that quite a bit. I'm excited for the game to come out. It looks amazing. Um, a lot of the new features, big head mode, which I don't know how often that is going to be used, those blocky characters. Um, we, get, we get some great... DLC with the season pass, a lot of great uh, players that will actually get used as Ricochet, EC3, Bobby Lashley, the War Raiders, Kenneth Larray, like all those people will definitely get used more so than Rock and Roll Express or Greg Valentine or something like that. I did kind of hope, really kind of a small hope, that Hogan was going to be in it this year, uh, but he must have come in too late or allowed back into the WWE Hall of Fame too late. I do expect, unless he does something stupid between now and the new game and, and a 2K20, I guess it'll be called, um, we should see Kogan in the next game. Macho here going through some of the purchase, purchasables, superstars, arenas, and championships. So a lot of cool stuff and a lot of great things coming out. We have the new match types with six and eight men. We have the new uh, backstage area as well as the, the new uh, Hardy compound. The Wyatt compound, whatever they get. And then in my career or my player, the voiceovers. We have an actual story with voiceovers, with Bray Wyatt talking and Matt Hardy oh, doing all that stuff. It is going to be absolutely fantastic, I think. And I really hope we get all of our hopes up, and I hope they aren't just shot to hell when the game comes out. You see The Undertaker, a dead man here, cruising his bike down. So. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, Macho has given me permission to use his things, and Pulse uh, did the same on Twitter, as long as we let people know that it is them. And, of course, it says Macho real big up there in the top right corner. But everything I've seen so far, I am very excited about it. Like I said, I did not get into my player because I want to experience that part on my own And um, when a game comes out. So the reactions are legit. And I don't expect a lot of things to come because I've already seen them. So that is going to be it for this. Thank you all so much. Thanks again to Macho for allowing me to use this. And as new things come out, I'm going to be able to look at it and point things out that may have not been said or that I think would be interesting. So thank you all so much. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Come on back. we got some more stuff coming pretty soon.